Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Unity. Yeah. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. All right, this quick segment is going to be called. Procrastination is the speed of sloth. Procrastination is the speed of sloth. Pull out the definition of procrastination. Hmm? Speed of sloth, yeah. Israel is full of sloths. Procrastinate. To put off intentionally and habitually. Mm -hmm. To put off intentionally the doing of something that should be done. To put to put off intentionally the doing of something that should be done. Go to the synonyms. Delay, procrastinate, lag, uh, loiter. Yeah, th those are synonyms. Up top. Daddle, dawdle. I never heard that word before. Uh, okay. Go to the book of First Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse fifty eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much, hold on, that's the work of the Lord. Brothers, what is the work of God? Only one brother knows. Amazing. What is the work of God? The word. Bible. The, okay. More detail. Brother, right there next to you. What was your name again, brother? Judah. Judah. Sure, brother Judah. What is the work of the Lord? Uh, the work is to uh, learn the commandments, apply them, and teach our people. Okay, right. Okay, I like that. I like the last part, teach your people. This brings me to my next question. Elijah, you got your hand up. What does God want you to do? Most I want you to find everyone. Want you to do. Wants me to put in the work for the Lord. Wake up as people, be apt to teach, be the example, shine your light. Right. So, when the Lord says, read that scripture again. Ecclesiastes, oh, I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 58. Go ahead. Therefore, my beloved brethren. You can sit down, bro. Be ye steadfast. Be steadfast. Unmovable. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the always Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. So, we got to ask ourselves. Are we doing that? Are we always bounding in the work of the Lord? Or are we procrastinating? Thinking that because I wear fringes, I'm going to get in when Christ comes back. All of us have a job to do. All of us was loaded duties on this earth. Men and women was a loaded duties requirements to get in we ain't made it yet we think we made it already we ain't made it yet it's just like going through a job interview how many interviews you might have three that final job interview you got to go through a drug test you got to go through a, a lot of tech to test you got to go through men. You got to go through a background check. Some jobs take years to get. You're in the hiring process for a year. This is just the hiring process. We ain't made it yet. 
We ain't hard yet. <laughs> huh? Probationary. Right, this is the probationary period. We ain't full employees yet. We ain't got the full benefits yet. Yeah, we still under the curse of Deuteronomy 28. We still die. Yep. A lot of us think that we made it already. A lot of us think we made it already. Colossians 3.23. That's that procrastination. We think we got time. We think we got time to slack off. We think we got time to put this to the side. We don't, y'all. We do not. Colossians 3.23. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 23. Go ahead. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord. As to the Lord. Read. And not unto men. And not unto men. You got to understand what we doing in here. I'm not doing this for y'all. I'm doing this because the Lord put me here to do it for him. To prove to him. That's the job requirement. Prove yourself to God. When you try to prove yourself to men, men disappoint you. Women disappoint you. Prove yourself to the father. Proverbs 16 and 3. But it's a lot of sloths in Israel. It's a lot of sloths. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 3. I got time to skip this camp 101. I got time to, to, to skip this Titus 2. I got time. I get on the next week. I got time to rebel against my husband. He ain't going nowhere. I got time. I got time not to sit down and, 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 and read with my kids tonight. I got time. I'm tired. I'd rather sleep. I'd rather sit down and watch BET. I'd rather sit down and watch a movie. I'd rather go to the gym. Then sit down and read four chapters. I, 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 I got to stay in shape. I got to burn the fat. That's my excuse. I'm burning the fat. Therefore, I cannot read my Bible. Procrastination. Because when that time come, it's going to be over. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You wearing your 400 pound bench press. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 3 Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 3 Read Commit thy works unto the Lord uh -huh. And thy thoughts shall be established Commit thy works to God And your thoughts I'm going to establish all your thoughts I mean I'm going to guide you in the way you're supposed to go But commit all your work to the Lord Commit all your work to God I got time to miss this Sabbath it's just one Sabbath of the month. It's just one new moon. I got time. How many moons we got in a year? Twelve new moons? I can miss one of them. The Lord, the Lord. 11. The Lord, huh? I can make 11 of them. I'm tired, dog. I need some sleep. I don't feel like driving. I don't feel like saving up McDonald's money to put gas in the car to make it to Sabbath. I don't feel like doing that. I love me some chicken nuggets. <laughs> the four for four. I can get 20 nuggets for a dollar. Something to think about. <laughs> I don't want to save up my McDonald's money to put, it, put gas in the car to make it to Sabbath. I don't want to do it. No one I got high blood pressure. Deuteronomy 23, 21. This is going to be a little short segment. Just going to go over it briefly. Deuteronomy 23, 21. Oh, man. Oh, my man. Why you let me skip over the videos, man? Why let me skip right over the, the doggone videos? Ain't that something? That brother's a sloth. You don't want me to bring it out. 
It's all good, bro. I understand. It's all good. I, I got you. I got you, bro. It's all good. <sighs> Deuteronomy 23, 21. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 21. Go ahead. When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy God. When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord. Read. Thou shalt not thou shalt not slack to pay it. Thou shalt not slack to pay it. Read. For the Lord thy God will surely require of thee. The Lord will require of thee. We all vow to vow to God. When I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put in the work. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be all I can be. Fundraiser. How many people showed up? Has it died? Ten people? Huh? It wasn't a lot. Ten people? Yeah, let's say. Ten people? Hmm. Twelve people. So the first excuse was it was too hot. Then the temperature went down, and now it's too cold. Read that again. Deuteronomy 23 and verse 21. Read. When thou shalt vow a vow when unto thou the, shalt vow a vow. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not slack to pay it. God said, don't slack. Don't be slack. Pull in the definition of slack. It's like damn if the Lord do, damn if the Lord don't. Put a definition of slack. That's that that's that's the that's the story of Israel. Start off strong, finish weak. Read that. Definition of slack. Not using due diligence, care, or dispatch. Read on. Negligent. Negligent. Read. Characterized by slowness, slug, sluggishness, or lack of energy. Or lack of energy. Come on. Moderate in some quality. Moderate in some quality. Go down. Go down to the synonym. There you go. Do the verb. Verb. Uh, uh, stop. Come on. Come stop on. Just stop. Slacked. Slacking. Slacks. Uh, def- definition. Or, re, re, re A. A. 1A. To be slack or negligent in performing or doing. To be slack or negligent in performing or doing. To be slack or negligent in performing or doing. Go to. F- yeah, yeah, go ahead. Number two. To shrink or evade work or duty. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. To shrink or evade. That means you running away from the work. Right. To evade. I'm good nigga. Nah, you know, I'm not feeling it. Y'all know them, 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 bro, them, them uh, people at work that avoid work and they leave all the work for you when you come in on your shift? I'm like, damn, just get his 20 papers and you ain't file these papers? What, what happened? You'd be mad as hell every time you go to work because you know the people before you on their shift didn't do crap. You got to do everything. Now you got to pick up the slack. So now more work is added to your plate because brother so-and-so didn't want to do his part of the job. Like I said, we all are loaded responsibilities in this truth. We all are loaded. And when we don't fulfill that elopement, we don't fulfill those required duties, you can see it. Spirit is different. Knowledge don't grow. Wisdom, understanding don't grow. Because you have not fulfilled your duties. You are neglecting the Lord's work. Procrastination. Is a form of stress relief. Yeah, see, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought, th- 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 think about that. Procrastination is a form of stress relief that adds more stress in the long run. You know, you stressed. I just can't do it. You know what? <sighs> I need a break. And then that break go by, and for that break, you feel good. Like, yeah. And now when you try to pick up where you left off, now you got 20 more things to do. And what happens? It piles on and piles on till you can never catch up. Procrastination is a form of stress relief that adds more stress in the long run. 
Read. Ecclesi- uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. By much slothfulness, by much slothfulness, the, the, the building decayeth. The building decayeth. That goes into the church. That goes into your house. The building decayeth. It crumbles. It falls. There's no structure. Slothfulness. Everything is happening when it wants to happen. Instead of being a dictator as to when you want it to happen. At this time, this going to happen. At this time, this going to happen. At this time, this going to happen. Now, we just wake up and uh, whatever happens, happens. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Whatever happens, happens. Read it again. By much slothfulness. By much slothfulness. By much putting off. By much laziness. Read. The building decayeth. The building decayeth. If every man in here was lazy as hell. To the point he won't get up and go to work. There will be councils every Sabbath. But when the man got a problem. With the house being out of order because of laziness. That's not a problem. It goes hand in hand. Just as like we expect. The man to get his ass up and go to work. We expect you to get your ass up and clean the house. Read. And through idleness, through of, the, idleness of the hands, go ahead. the house drop it through. The house drop it through. It's just like we building a house, but ain't no structure. The house just going to fall like a stack of cards. You blow it, it's going to fall. Proverbs 26, 13. We almost done. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 14. Pro- procrastination. The speed of sloth. Go ahead. As the door turneth upon his hands. Verse 13. Oh, verse 13. Yep. The slothful man saith. The slothful man, the slothful woman saith, read. There's a lion in the way. There's a lion outside. Go ahead. A lion is in the street. The lion's in the street. I can't go get a job. It's a lion out there. There's a lion in my kitchen. Something is stopping me from doing my work. And it, the lion only comes out when you leave the house. <laughs> Go read, read on, bro. Read on. Verse 14. As the door turneth upon his hinges. As the door turneth on his hinges. So doth the slothful upon his bed. So does the slothful love to sleep. Love to sleep. Love to slumber. Y'all know a door turn on his hinges. Every time I open the clothes, that's all day. That's what the Bible said. The door turns on his hinges 24-7. That's how much the slothful person loves to sleep. 24-7. Wanna write nothing getting done in the damn house. Read. Verse 15. The, sl- the slothful hideth his hand in, mm-hmm. in his bosom. The slothful hides his hand. Read on. It grieveth him to bring it to bring it again to his mouth. It grieveth him. So lazy. Read. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit. Read on. Then seven men that can render a reason. What verse you at? Verse six, 17. Now. Read. He he that passes by and meddleth with, with strife belongeth That's not it. to him. Proverbs 10 and 4. Proverbs 10 and 4. Oh, give me 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10 first. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 10. Read. For for even when we were with you, this we commanded, commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. If any man don't work, neither should he eat. Any man don't work. If any man don't want to find a, a job. Brother been without a job for two years. But still expect his wife to submit in all things. Man don't work, he don't eat. Man don't work, he don't eat. I mean, get your behind up. Ain't no way hell you looking for a job three o'clock in the afternoon. You get up at one, take an hour shower, 
cook breakfast that you didn't buy. To go out. No, you don't even leave the house. You go into the computer at 3 o'clock in the afternoon looking for jobs. See, that, that's why I like back in the day. Back in the day, you had to get your behind up and catch that bus. Back in the day, you had to get up. You had to put on some nice clothes. You know, back in the day. Brother, she said, I'm going to do the note. Brother Mike, well, you know. Back in the day, we had to get up 6 o'clock, in the, 7 o'clock in the morning and beat the boss to the job. You had to make an impression to get a job. You had to call him 10 times a morning. Even though you got answer machines. You had to call him back before he called you back. I was there. I called I call, uh, my boss so many times before. Well, he said, man, I have to give you the job. I have to. Nobody's ever called me this many times. Every morning, I'm like, man, why the hell did you didn't call me back? Talk, talk to the, uh, what they call it? The... Um, uh huh. The receptionist, right? Well, you know he's not in yet. Well, he's on lunch. I right, can I leave a voicemail. All right, send it to his voicemail. What time he get off for lunch? I right, in an hour. I'm gonna call back in an hour. But now today, America's made us so weak and, and lazy and 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 uh uh stubborn and slothful. We got twenty tabs open. 20 tabs on a laptop and they finished one application. Because you get the one, ah, oh, nah, see, that don't make enough. Delete. Knowing you're behind, they paid your rent in eight months. Delete. I'm too good to work at McDonald's. I'm too good to work at King Supers. I'm too good for this. Oh, yeah, you too good. You are too good. You so good. <laughs> I ain't going to say it. Brothers, get a job. Even if you got to settle, get a job. Where we at? Proverbs 10 and 4, right? Yep. Go to Proverbs 10 and 4. Proverbs. Sisters, if you trying to talk to the brother, find out how long he been in the job. If he got a job, see how long he's been and how many jobs he had this year. See how many jobs he had in his lifetime. See what was the longest time period he had that job. What was the shortest time period he had a job? How many jobs has he been fired from? How many jobs has he resigned from? Do he put in two weeks before he leave a job? That says a lot. That says a lot about a, about a, about a man. That says a lot. Because he won't put in two weeks for you. So he damn sure ain't put two weeks in for you. He going to leave you out high and dry. Don't come home for two days. Don't tell you nothing. Don't call, no hey, no buy, no nothing. What would you expect? He been doing that to Esau his whole life. It's a lot of questions. A lot of check his credit. See how many credit cards that he have been delinquent on. See how many low brothers. See now I'm about to go on something else. Goodness gracious. <laughs> check his credit, y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. Check his credit, brothers. Check her credit. Because what you don't know is when you get married, that's your bad credit. Them loans that she took out, guess who now part of that loan? You are. That loan he took out 10 years ago that he ain't paid a dime on yet. Guess what happens when you get married? Now that's your loan. So this will be my counsel for sisters and brothers. Don't marry that brother till you pay off the loan. Oh, set a new bar. Set a new bar. Don't marry that brother till he pays off his debt. That brother got a hundred thousand dollar debt. You waited out. 
That sister got a hundred thousand dollar debt. She ain't ready to get married. Because if he loves you, guess what he gonna do? He gonna pay that debt off. If she loves you, guess what she gonna do? She gonna pay. So that means she gonna get another job. She gonna work with her hands, and she gonna find a way to pay that debt. That's what she gonna do. Or she gonna leave you a little for another sucker to pay the debt for. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just. I've been gone last week, y'all. It's been gone. It's been a lot. Been a lot in Israel, y'all. Cause brothers get married and kind of find out the sister got hundred thousand dollar debt. Sister get married, brother find out the brother got a hundred thousand dollar debt, back child support. So now you don't even calculate. You don't get all right. You know we get we get married. All right, let's calculate the funds. Let's see what we able to get. All right, okay. You you able to contribute this amount much to the rent? All right, cool. We set. We good. Then we later lay together, get married. Baby, the first the, the rent due. I got my half. See, uh, uh, I owe back child support that I never told you about. Ask questions, y'all. Ask questions. Uh, get what I said. Get read that. Proverbs chapter ten and verse four. He becometh poor that delayeth with a slack hand. He becometh poor that delayeth with a slack hand. That's that procrastination. Proverbs 10, 26. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 26. Mm-hmm. A, as vinegar uh, to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send it. That so send is the him. sluggard to them that sendeth. Does it? That send him, yes, sir. I mean, are you un, you unproductive. Uh, you are unproductive. You like smoke to the eyes. Can't stand you. Can't stand to look at you. Just unproductive. You're the last person that anybody wants to do anything. Because you're just so unproductive. And sisters, if your husband only made $10 an hour, you praise that man. <laughs> you praise that man for real. If your husband only made ten dollars an hour, you better praise that man. Cause there's some Negroes out here that won't even do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Get Romans twelve and ten. That's all you can make at seven dollars an hour. Praise the Lord. Tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all something, brothers. Sisters, I want y'all to pay attention to something. Everything is always good when it's good. Everything is always good when it's good. When the car don't got no issues, the rent's paid, you bring it home good money, got a big house, nice picket fence. Everything's good. Everything is you know how they say Gucci. <laughs> you you are millennials know about that. I'm not a millennial, by the way. I'm not a millennial. <laughs> but don't look at me like that, bro. <laughs> I'm not a my mindset is not a millennial. Let me say that. My mindset is not a millennial. Right, our mom? Thank you. Appreciate you. See that brother learning. My brother learning. That brother learning. Hey, I'll tell you learn it, bro. Praises. But I'm going to tell you something. You know if you're going to last in the truth in your marriage. This is how you know. But you can last wicked. You can last wicked as hell. You can last with somebody sleeping on the couch. You can last with somebody who you ain't, y'all ain't slept together in 10 years. Oh, that happens, by the way. You can laugh with somebody doing that. But to last righteously with somebody, you have to go through things. 
I don't care what we've been through. I'm still able to look at you as the image of God. I'm still able to look at you as a daughter of Sarah. Because you're going to go through things in this walk. You're going to go through things, especially in marriage. Oh! That's why Paul said marriage is a mystery. Because can't nobody understand it. I don't understand what makes me love you so much to forgive you. Over and over. I don't understand it. It's a mystery. I don't understand that. Why I want to live the rest of my life with you and you get on my damn nerves. What is it? (laughs) Only the Lord knows why. (laughs) Damn, I can't stand you sometimes, but I kill for you. I still want to grow old with your aggravating behind. I don't know what it is. Now, once you lose that thought of mine, marriage is over. Now you just two people living in the same house obligated by the scriptures instead of obligated by the love you have for one another. Romans 12 and 10. Romans chapter 12 and verse 10. Go ahead. Be kindly affectioned one to another. Be kindly affectioned one to another. With brotherly love. With brotherly love. And honor. Uh-huh. Preferring one another. Preferring one another. I mean, we should be we should be wanting. We should be wanting. To be around each other all the time. No matter what. Hell, even if I got to lay next to you and just be angry. I'm angry, I'm mad as hell, but hey. At least I know you safe. I'm not taking a drive two hours because I'm mad. I'm not taking a walk at two in the morning because I'm mad. I'm not doing that. We're going to stay right here. We're going to be mad together in the same bed. And I guarantee you, as of tonight, you're going to be all right. Uh, Read on. Verse 11. Not slothful in business. Not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit. Fervent in spirit. I don't know how we got into marriage, but hey, the Lord, it is what it is. We talk about procrastination. We We went off to marriage. Somebody need to hear it. Not slothful in business, but fervent. Read on. Fervent in spirit. Uh Serving the Lord. Serving the Lord. Serving your Lord. See, we don't like to put those two and two together. Serving the Lord is serving your Lord. Brother, serving the Lord is serving your Lord. Who's our Lord? Christ. (laughs) Who's their Lord? The men. Okay, I'll praise. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.